up, you say you're rocking with me. Okay, you're vibing with me. You say you're rocking with me. Okay, you're vibing with me. You say you're rocking with me. Listen, listen, what to be honest? I need some loyalty. I don't want no sometimes love. Do you mean just what you say, or is it only because? I've been thinking about you and me and what we could become. But is it only for the moment? If so, we could be done. So is you. What up, man? It's your boy D Bonds back with another banger. Team. What up, Snaggy Nose Gang? You already know what it is, man. It's your boy D Bonds back with another video, man. Hey, listen, man. I just want to say shout out to all my Snaggy Nose. Man, listen. I love y'all, yo. With all my heart, bro. Like. Before I start this video, man, I just want to say, man, my health is getting way better, man. Um, the issue was with my kidneys. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, not drinking enough water and all of that. Yeah, that plays a big part in me just overworking. Y'all know how I am. I be staying up all night and things like that. Man, I had to take it easy for a while, like at least like three, almost three months now. I'm back, man. We back. I just want to say thank you to each and everybody that checked on Mama Bonds. She wanted me to tell y'all she love y'all and thank y'all for all the prayers and shalom. So without further ado, man, we got a bag right here. And not only that we got a bag, yo, we got a video coming up on CB Radios. We also got a video coming on um, my little generator that it's not working, that I'm working on. So we're going to have a lot of videos coming. Yeah. Make sure y'all subscribe to my kids' channel, the Snidey Nose Kids. They've been dropping videos like crazy, man. Um, my son went camping. They got the little sour candies and, you know, they doing the garden and stuff like that. So, y'all go tune into my kids' channel, man. Like, if you got kids, if you got kids, make sure they go to my kids' channel. Y'all already know what type time we on. You feel me? Give them something to watch. And shout out to my babies. You know what I mean? Without further ado, we got something in the bag. Something was to happen or anything like that, man. You got to, um... You gotta have something on the go, you feel me? So what we got today is a bug out bag. This good old bag right here that I packed up that I think I would take as a bug out bag. Now, it would be way more than this, but this is just what I came up with, you know, um, in my head as I was going along with this, you feel me? So let me show y'all what's in the bag, man. All right, y'all, so the first thing we gonna open up is the top. I'ma show y'all what I got in here. Now, like I said, for me, it's a necessity that I have these things and it's a must. You feel me? But y'all gonna get where I'm going. All right, so right up here at the top, we got some primers, you feel me? You know, to make your own 7.62s. We got some of this right here. Do some rifle, some rifle primers. They already pretty much like pre-made, ready to go. Get us some Q-tips, you know what I'm saying? And a marker, you did. But we got some Q-tips so you know when we clean the firearms and things like that. Let's get to the good part. Gotta have my press. Gotta have my press because, like I said, if I run out of ammunition, you feel me? You gotta have your own. You gotta be on the go. So this is a main thing for me. Now with this, now you can't forget your die set. The die set. You know what I mean? For whatever you're gonna be taking. Well, whatever you make the most. That's what I would say. You should carry carry the most important things with you don't carry the stuff that you think you would need take the things that you know you would need okay so we got the lee hand press we got the die set way more um got me some powder you know what i mean the good old powder the cf uh the cfe pistol by high don also got that cfe 223 join nice man i'm gonna lie these like one of the top powders you know what I mean? Besides the other ones, like, but y'all, I'm, I'm gonna show y'all plenty more, but these, these is a must for me. Some two, two, threes. These are some, um, some Vermont's 55 grain SP. Um, I think, I think, I think it's, it's good to have those and not just only just having these. You gotta have you some full metal jackets. You wanna have you some for targets and things like that. You know, gun cleaner. Promise, man. Listen, man. You gotta have promise. Like I told y'all, man. You gotta have every single thing. And my my main things that I would carry. So this is a fresh pack right here of some uh, small rifle promise. You know you gotta have a whole fresh bang of those. Then I got the RCBS, the 357 Sig die set. That is a must for me. I love the little in 357 Sigs because a lot of people think it's 
a tough caliber to reload but it's really not you just got to be careful and put it exactly at the next size where it's supposed to be other than that that's a piece of cake we also got some primers some more primers pistol primers not rifle but pistol now i like these and i also like the federal gold as well um the cci mags and a uh, federal it's the best. I haven't had any problems out of these. These shoot very well. Besides that, as y'all see, so we got primers, die sets. Oh, I forgot. You can't leave this out. Can't leave this out. And this is also the RCBS. But the primers that I just showed y'all, what well, with this little green thing right here, whatever you make or whatever you're going to make first, you just pull that sucker on out. Yeah, and it is locked up. That's what I do like about these RCBS, but they can get loose. So I put a little, uh, Whatever it's called, jacket one going. You just go like that, bam, and it's ready to go. You take it off, you spin it, start putting them in it in the, in the, in the brass. That joint is sweet, boy. But anywho, that's that. I had to show you that real fast. So we got those die sets. I had to put this back up in here. Let's that up. All right, let's see what we got in the front. We got in the front, front. So on the front right here. Got two more things of ammunition. Got some uh two two threes. These the splitzer blitz. Then we got the game cane. Some slight, you feel me? Nice little rounds, play with. That's what I got for the front right there. Then this little compartment right here. Got a little extra magazine. Gotta have plenty of those. Gotta have a tool. I always keep tools handy, y'all know me. And then I was like, you know, why not? I wasn't going to add this up in there, but I was like, man, what the heck? Why not? So I had to put the five inchy up in there. You know what I'm saying? You can never go wrong with having some extra. I'm trying to tell you. If it's reasonable, keep it, pack it up. That's what I said. So that's for the first department. Then we're going to start with this side right here. Now, this department right here, I would use for like extra ammunition or something like that or loose brass. Now, these brass right here. These brass are ready to go. You see how they already got the primers in there? They got the primers in there already. They're already resized and everything else. Only thing you gotta do is just end a pound and slap the bullets in there, bam. You good to go. Now I also got some 40s, some little targets, some uh Sierras that I made. That's for that pocket. It's just the idea of you know what you would take in an emergency. You know what I'm saying? Of you know things. Now in this pocket right here this pocket dagger right here all right so i got a whole bunch of cleaning supplies as y'all can see because you know different calibers gotta have those i mean you gotta have a lot of those you know what i'm saying you gotta have a lot of those and this is also one of my favorite i love cleaning these i mean they 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 write for me but at the same time your firearm will get a little dirty you know it works. It gets the job done. More tools or more tools. You never know what you're going to need it for. So that's what this bag is pretty much for. You know what I'm saying? It's like a two bag. 76% lower jig. <laughs> I don't know why I want to carry this around. But I feel like, yeah, I might need it. So can't go wrong with that. But with that being said, that's what I would definitely take with me. And my bug out bag. You feel me? That's why I would pretty much take with me and my own um, and my bug out bag. But if it was something more serious, I would definitely be having way better stuff. But like I said, these radios right here, you know what I mean? Let me show y'all a little bit. Those radios, those are definitely going to be in test. And shout out to my pops. But this radio right here is definitely the shit. This is a biofan. We're going to be doing a video on these. We're going to be connecting all these radios up and uh, and see how far they go and testing them. And I'm going to be testing them with my dude boy and the Snidey Nose kids. Y'all stay tuned for that video when we drop it. So y'all going to be very excited for that video. Um, So yeah, man, that's what's in d bond bug out bag. If y'all got any questions, man, I'm about to drop some more videos. Bro. Like I said, man, I'm happy to be back. My health is getting a good order. I'm feeling real good. I'm feeling real great. Y'all going to see the Snidey Nose kids more on the channel. So... We gonna keep dropping it for y'all, and that's that. You heard? It's 2024. I just wanna say thank y'all once again. Keep tuning into the channel. Don't stop. 
Everything that we learning on this channel is a must. I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all got kids, y'all better be playing around. Y'all better take everything I'm saying serious. And I'm also going off grid in a couple months. So we're gonna have videos about that too. It's a long story, but I'm gonna be breaking it down in a few days. Man, let me get up out of here. Finish making the rest of these videos, man. It's your boy D Bonds, and I'm is out.